Hi there everybody, I just wanted to bring to attention a little thing that's uh, been on my mind recently. Uh, this is going to be slightly different from the normal format in that I'm actually going to be presenting an opinion, so uh, if you don't want to know about my opinions, you probably want to turn off right now. If you've been following the news about the new Doom game, you may have seen eye-catching tweets and news headlines such as A Doom Easter Egg? IGN has the scoop! Huge Doom Easter Egg revealed! This awesome Doom Easter Egg will make every fan of the original game very happy. A Doom Easter Egg so good the fans of the original game will want to fillet a dead horse just to play it. Anyone else remember the time when an Easter Egg was, well, a secret? What's the point of putting secrets into your game if you're just going to announce them before the game's even been released? Of course, we know why this happened in 2016, because media outlets will quite literally climb over each other to get out these stories, and companies have a duty to churn out as much press as possible. But I mean really, what's the point of calling it an Easter Egg? If players already know it's there, and how to get it. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert, I guess. Okay, so whatever this is must be pretty good, right? Every fan of the original game will be very happy to see it. I can certainly call myself one of them guys. Still putting out Doom videos in 2016 must not be quite the fan, so I'm sure I'd absolutely love this, right? Well, no. You can kind of, uh, uh, you have lots of other challenges. There's these, uh, these hidden levers throughout throughout uh, each level. Secret. Oh, that looks really, really familiar. And these are actually little stubs of, of classic Doom maps from Doom 1 and Doom 2 oh, um, that you can go in and uh, you get to play them with uh, with new guns and, and new new demons, but you'll notice... Uh, what it'd have done is added in a bonus area to the maps that allows you to explore part of a classic Doom map and its original look and textures, but with the new weapons and monsters. All sounds great, I'd be happy to see that for sure. Except there seems to be a bit of an issue. You can call me picky, that's fine, probably just fine. I'm not going to complain about texture limit or little things like that. Dust Nostalgic mentioned on Twitter that the flat texture on the wall is upside down. This is the kind of thing that bothers some people, but I would say, personally, that's pretty minor. I mean, at least it's there, it's vaguely in the right spot, and it looks correct, it looks reasonably authentic, it looks like it's from the original game. That's relatively minor in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Of course, that's all well and good until it's something that you notice or something that's important to you. No, what's rubbed me wrong is the lighting. As I mentioned in my Valhalla video, Doom uses sector-based lighting to provide ambience at a time where pre-baked lighting, never mind dynamic lights or point-based lights, were a while away yet for a game like Doom. While primitive, it did allow for map designers to create atmosphere, making some areas dark, bringing lights up suddenly depending on the player's actions. Having flashing fading areas, or areas with no light at all, with just a flash to increase difficulty. The map designers who worked in Doom use this feature extensively to boost the detail on their maps and make them more immersive. This is completely gone in this secret area. No lighting at all exists, and instead it's all portrayed as if you just type matte underscore full bright in a Source Engine game. This makes the whole area look a lot more primitive than it did in the original game, and to be honest, there's a complete lack of respect to the work of the original team. Someone would have carefully built up the lighting with as much care as it would have placed any other of the geometry or monsters in the level. But this has been removed entirely when it's been brought into id Tech 6. It's not just a little difference either, the sections of the map in this secret look completely different to the original. No flashing lights, no darkness, no beams of light coming through the door, nothing. It's just gone. Now there might be a technical reason for this, as we're now in the age where we can have dynamic lights galore. To then take a step back to having sector lighting is not going to be an easy one, and probably isn't even possible in the way we'd expect in a lot of modern engines. Many would no doubt feel that the added in lights would look unnatural as that wasn't in the original game, but surely that would have been better than doing nothing. And to top it all off, at the end of the video we are given this righteous statement given by the current team. Of what we've done with technology over the years and, and, uh, and, and just uh, the, the ability to create worlds now, uh, you know, it was all in our mind before and now we get, to, we get to put it in pixels on the screen. All I can say to that is the following. Fuck. That. Shit. This isn't some text adventure from the Dark Ages or a game where you chase around a dot. These environments are worlds that people created. You've re-envisioned them the way you want them to look. You've got no right to 
push the originals aside as being inferior when you can't even represent them correctly in your own fucking game. John Romero designed the original E1 M2, and I'm willing to hazard a guess. He's not looking at what you've created here with your foundry level and thinking, yeah, that's what I was going for. Stupid Doom not being able to visualise it properly. They worked hard to make the maps look the way they wanted them to, given the palette and the tools available to them. You can't just toss the original maps and content aside saying, well look buddy, I've done it better, no troubles. Of course you can remake the maps, but to say that it was all in our minds before is both offensive to the players and to the people who worked to create these environments that just about any FPS player will hold as a piece of gaming history. I'm hoping that the full game will show that the lighting detail will be resolved somehow, or that the full version of the maps that you unlock via these secrets do not exhibit this issue. But I doubt it. I'm still excited about this game, but I'm not going to be led into pre-ordering it. They've sold it to me on being a decent looking game, but as far as being a Doom fan goes, I think a better investment would be Black Room. This is just something I wanted to get off my chest for a while. Feel free to let me know if you think I'm being too precious or if you think these concerns are pretty ridiculous. And thank you very much for watching.